you know, it's all about control. Yeah. So I just want to see what happens with it. Because yeah. the ball flight looks good. It's like we were doing the other day. So we're ball testing. All right, Matt, Matt's on camera. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, so Bradley's trying the new Pro-V, and he's just going to do a bit of gap testing as well, just to see how he's going to feel, making sure the distances are where he wants them to be. I think a bit more with the bottom end, but let's see. Yeah. Although on the video, this is going to be a lob wedge. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be we, nice. did, we did eight iron. Yeah, the other day. Yeah. If you want it, if you want to compare it, yep. going for that temperature thing. Yeah. yeah, we're on about temperature the other day. I don't know if he's, have you checked it? Yeah, because you were in Wales testing last time, weren't you? Which is normally so 20 degrees. In Whereabouts? The Where? What course are you at? <laughs> yeah. So we did. Uh, we've done two lots of testing. We've done one batch out on the range at Kelty Manor. Yeah. We did another batch last week at Peaks and Lakes. Kelty Manor on grass or on the mat? On mat. So that will on affect mat. it as well, yeah. won't it? Yeah. The, 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 I, I, I asked this question years ago. Because I always feel, you know, you boys play obviously, you hit balls off the match, it's off the grass. I always feel off the mat, it comes off different. Lower spinning. It's lower spinning? Yeah. Really? I just said higher spinning, that's what I've seen. I've seen both. It's lower. I've seen both scenarios where some guys have had it a little bit higher spinning, but equally. Your general pattern with the mat yeah. is that they're, they've got a pile yeah. that is not as close as the grass. Yeah. Right. Because the grass, obviously, the ball sits. Yeah. It doesn't Down. sit on top of it, yeah. it gets in it. So you can get them up the face. I do a lot of testing inside yeah. on yeah. mats and I can see inside I'm dropping 500, 600 revs. Right, okay. Which can add 500, um, five lot. yards, four yards. Do you think that would, do you think, so you, just as a, a geeky question, do you think that would, um, player type would depend on that? Because I'm really shallow into the back of the ball and I, I can't spin it on a mat, but it give me on grass and I, I can add a couple of thousand RPM. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. It's lower, yes, lower. spinning yeah. on the mat, yes. so you're, yeah. still, you're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, all, all, on a mat, I would always be adding around 500 revs personally, you unless sit on foresight, don't you? When you yeah. got your dots and you yeah, you look get at them, where you dots get them in spaces on the face, on the face yeah. Because obviously think... I'm using foresight that's measuring strike, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're way up. You'd yeah, never really? get them if it was on yeah. tight turf like that. So yeah, you'll be slightly lower spinning, slightly longer in theory. Obviously, shot for shot, but that's your pattern. Interesting, because to be fair, this turf is actually. Sat up a bit. Yeah, it's not the tightest, yeah, is no, it? Like, it's not. And it's when it gets the grain, is that making a difference? Ooh, strong into the possibly, grain. but you'd say normally down grain, you'd expect to get more spin I well, I would say into the grain, it would sit up more on down grain less. Yeah. So down grain less set up, uh -huh. you would get more spin. Into more set up, you'd get less because it spins all about where you're going to strike it on the face, how high or low it's coming. Right. And then what gets stuck between it as well. Uh -huh. Down grain, probably chance of getting less stuck. Just pretty much a normal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch, stretch wouldn't do something like that. And it, and it the ghost, as, well, as I've now yeah. nicknamed it. The ghost. He loves it, really. Do you clean between each shot? I and prefer to if you're yeah. test. It's, it's going to be truer numbers, isn't it? Clean and dry. Yeah. Normally that'd be like a high 50 sort of job. 57, 58 be normal. Because I'm not going to be swinging it flat up normally. Okay, 63. Is it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. That's how far it's gone, as in it's carried. Right, stretch, run up, pace it. <laughs> yeah. There <laughs> yeah. you get hard out. On. And come back ready for the next one. <laughs> Spin's good though, Brad. Yeah, I mean, that was just so a first normal shot. That's a normal sort of slide. Any time, it's been in yeah. seven six. Four speed's still good. The, um... Go like two yards through the last one? No, shorter. No way. 62.2. See, that's where this track man's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These lawn corners, isn't they? <laughs> That's gone a little bit further, I think. You know, Which again is your, your high spinner, so that's really good. So yeah. That's yeah. Really good. That's going to be. I, I hit that. That was the best number. one here. Yeah. That was the best shot. So for, for what you're looking for, yeah. to keep the spin rate a little, say a little on the low side. So Brad, historically, will be over eight. 
he was. Yeah, it'll be quite a high spin here. Yeah. Brad's playing. Like people call it strike mark, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Power. <laughs> Quality of. Well, well, probably this way. That was my interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll let, so I hit three then, sort of, like normalish. So I'll hit three a bit higher and just Maybe see just the change difference. change it so yeah. you can see the... I'll just change the tab. I'm just curious know. to see it because... Right. Did you use an older ball? I was a 13 ball. Yeah. And both the 15 and 17 spun it more. Yeah. Which was bad for me. Yeah, because I you're spin a high it spin player. Anyway, so those two balls, obviously I, they didn't suit me. Yeah. But now, um, obviously the new balls come out. The 19 uh, ball. Um, you can call it the prototype of the 19 ball. Oh, right. Okay. There, there was another prototype ball. Okay, yes. But yep. that was even more aggressive in taking the spin off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I did try it, and um, in, it was like a good, in theory, ball. Would you a, call it that? It was, a, yeah. Yeah. So it was a great golf ball on the launch bar, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. But when you get it on the course, is it going to do what you want it to so do? So it, it, it dumped a lot of spin for Brad. He was yeah. one of the early prototypes of the 19 ball. It dumped yeah. a lot of spin off it for him. Ball speed went through the roof with it. On, yeah. a, on the range scenario, it was fantastic. It did. Launch monitor numbers, joy. Yeah. Perfect. But it, what I found in play, yeah. uh, like, again, I've chatted down to you about yeah. this. So in play, it was first of all, it was judging how far the ball was going to go. Yeah. So obviously, which is key with, with irons. For you guys, it's everything. Everything. Yeah. Um, but what it was, if uh, a couple of times I was just off the fairway, literally just off, and you're into the semi rough or something. But it wasn't, we, you know, we wouldn't identify it as being oh, it's a flyer. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I just played a pretty much a normal sort of shot as I would have normally, and this thing it just, just went. goes. And, and so I know we chatted about that, and, and um, Henry sort of saying, if it just takes couple percent off all of a sudden mm -mm -mm. it's really low spinning now yeah and now it's really going <laughs> yeah. totally well i say it a lot in the reviews and stuff i do the golf course is constantly taking spin away from you yeah. it doesn't give you it back hardly ever yeah. if ever it's always taking it away so for lots of people down that lens getting spin up is yeah. really good for them because mm. they're all you know yeah. you've got a seven iron that's spinning at five thousand revs because they're low spinning power bats and then you're going to get in the semi ref and yeah. it spins at three thousand yeah. revs and just dips yeah. yeah you're different because obviously you've got different speeds so you're a higher spinning player but you've got to be careful how much you give back yeah, yeah. haven't yeah, you exactly yeah. it's well, a no, balance it's a balance really i think where you where get we... seduced by the distance though, yeah. yeah and yeah. Like, you know in you know the um and then semi rough and flying greens and you're not making cuts it's, it's control yeah. isn't it it is yeah. i mean the driver's about distance the rest of the clubs are about control. Totally. Yeah. When you've got the speed that you guys bring, you know, if you're swinging at my speed, it needs to be faster. But if you're swinging at your speed, it's going to be so much about control. I say, you know, I was saying to me, it's myself, DJ, and rules, and you know, that's what we struggle yeah. with. <laughs> 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 well, I, I, it's, that, it's that recorded. Yeah, yeah. Is that on? Did I say that? <laughs> got that, can we get that one in there? Right? <laughs> so we're going to go higher shot yeah, now. So so sorry. So coming back. To yeah. It. So historically, because I'm a high spinner, so when I play in the wind, and you think you know history of you know the equipment. I'm not funny. Uh, uh, how old are you, man? I'm 43. We played together once in a no. county. Do you know what I was thinking? At, I saw at you two. I played. Yes. We played. We played. I was I about think ten. Was Thorntons. <laughs> no, you were older than me. How old are you? Might be a little bit older. Yeah, you were older. Because <laughs> you were going we'll off and turning pro. I was. I was a little whippersnapper. <laughs> Looking at Mr. J, he's the good player. Like, oh shit, we've only got to the 17th and we're not playing anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've putted really well, which is the only thing I can do. I was still lost. That was back in the good old days yeah. for me though. Yeah, um, you were arrowing it then. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, but so you and I would be similar age. Yeah, yeah. So, no, and you know, getting we chat with this. So you brought up, first of all, would have been the old Titus Hall bar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and the equipment then, you know, so the ball flight was so different. Yeah, yeah. And I played like Amda golf as well on Lynx courses. Yeah, totally. You know, so you're trying to squeeze this thing yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, so when I first got on the tour, then I did have to change my ball flight a bit. But I still, and I deliberately try and swing the club and hit shots, which are low draws. Yeah. Try and take the spin off. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's me being a little bit ignorant in a way of, of not realizing how much spin I'm, I'm, I'm throwing on the ball. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm after this sort of flight to control yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a new ball, because the spin's been taken off for me, you're not having to do that as much. Yeah. So I'm interested to see now if I hit a high one, because right. I, I can hit it really high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I hit a high one, because the spin is going to be better, the ball's more stable as well. Because even on the, on yeah. the dimple pattern and. Right yeah. Then. So one of the so we mentioned inside before we came out, and one of the big things that Brad isn't noticing from. I'm putting words in your mouth from the 13 ball to this ball is the is the improvement in ball flight into how stable it is in the air. Yeah. So lots of improvements in the generations from 13 to 15 to 17 to 19, which is 
evident in ball speed and, and spin rate numbers. And you can see that by eye. Yes. It's yes. very noticeable. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. I'm sure, you know, if you've, yeah, yeah. you've tried that, you can see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you and I can both, you know, you Yeah, can see definitely. It. I mean, we had, when we were testing previously, maybe see one or two shots that had very similar spin numbers. Yeah. And the other ball kind of get knocked around a little bit yeah, in the yeah, air. Yeah, and this yeah. one's kind of screwed in that. Girl, that's got a lot less spin on it. Yeah. When we look at the numbers, they were similar. Similar, yeah. but the new ball just held flight so much better for yeah. it. Yeah, cool. So, it's a good, good section. Yeah. So, am I allowed to say then as well? So, I've had the winter off. Go on. And in theory speaking, so I've been sat on my Arse. backside, <laughs> <laughs> uh, drinking wine, eating food, yeah. and just on the ball alone, I gain in terms of ball speed. Yeah. Uh, so the, the ball's going to fly further, yeah. straighter, yeah. and I'm going to be able to control it better. Yeah, yeah. And I've been sat my ass on with Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So, straight, I'm, Thank I'm you, ball engineers. <laughs> 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 so I walk out in the first tee, I'll be, I'm going to better play this. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I've won already. No, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you've got more confidence in the thing that your hitting's going to do what you want it to do, then yeah. you can just rely on practicing and working yeah. hard then, can't you? Absolutely. So, yeah, so, you know, don't bother going to the gym and all that crap. Yeah. Just go in the ball. Yeah. Drink that wine. Drink that wine. Drink that wine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this high one, then. Right, okay. Just to hear, yeah. yeah. It's still a good shot, but it was a here for bottom, so spins might pop up a little bit now. Still pretty good, 7-4. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Still holding its flight view. Ball is a little bit down compared to the flush here, but that's yeah, exactly. a little bit below in the face. <laughs> See that? I would still go in forward though. Yeah. Seven it's three. Going, it's not ballooning up at all. It's quite nice, really. Mm. The, uh, that last one was seven three. Yeah, it's slightly better. Than this one, but... Yeah, that felt a bit spinny. Seven four. No. See, like I'm just as good as that track, man. Just yeah, that felt spinny. Yeah, one six one. Yeah, one six one. Seven four spin. Yeah, it's interesting is that you, you know, if you look at that last one, which was a probably a flusher, one six one versus one sixty three. So there's no difference in spin. All the distance the ball's going compared to the no. I didn't quite hit those as well as some of the others. Though. But that, that last one was probably the best one of the bunch, right? Yeah. 105 feet versus 116. Yeah. But probably most notably, that will change the land angle yeah. as well for you. And if you look at your stock shot, it, it comes in at 97 feet and, you know, 49 degree land angle, whereas the other one was 108 feet as a group in with a 51 degree land angle. So that's going to stop quicker. Yeah. So it'll stop quicker, yeah. But without really any change in spin rate. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. I think that it's good. That's interesting. But it's stable, isn't it? Yeah. When you can see this, oh, I can notice it compared to the other ball. Yeah, yeah. It's stable with like yeah. yeah. I think it's not a bad weather to test as well because it's nice and warm. So yeah. You get, so you, you're free. Yeah. There's a, there's a little bit of breeze. Yeah, yeah. It's not, high. it's not hard wind, but there's a little bit of wind here. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's six now. Yeah. Trackman starts to struggle to pick up the ball speed now, Mark. He's yeah. 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 <laughs> There's another camera in it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have this like for a blue person, you see, it's yeah, like yeah. What really goes on on tour, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, roughly the same as the last one I ran. So I'll go for a bit of a funny swing. It was alright. Good shot. Still winning. On the side of the other one. 190. Sorry, 57 spin again on the six. It's good. Again, so for what consistent. we're looking for with you, yeah. So we've been Brad being a touch on the high side usually. That's good for me. New ball is. And that's slightly lower than I'd normally get it. Yeah. It's alright that flight. It's good though. Yeah, yeah. I know it's good, mate. Doesn't need telling. Doesn't need telling. It's all good. 
that's what he says. Uh, he'll say to me, it's a good shot. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit many of them. <laughs> it's not my first. <laughs> One after the other. <laughs> the first time I said to me, he's like, just looking at me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do a few challenges against tall pros, don't we? we and do. I drive like straight and they go, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can hit some good ones. <laughs> can, you, can you feel the breeze though? Yeah. Definitely breeze, there's a head breeze. Look at the yeah. flags. Yeah, there is. Definitely. Look at the definitely flags. Breeze there, Into off the left and they're flying. I was slightly more down, that was quicker than I did. It's exactly the same as the others, but there's more, okay. more puff then. Right, okay. I, would, I would test out when you're playing on the course, yeah. today or tomorrow, test that shot versus your stock shot, but test it, say, because it, historically you probably wouldn't play that into this breeze, would you? Um, it just, like I said, it's very, very much dependent on the flag position. Yeah. If it's a front pin and the greens are firm, which it can be, yeah, okay. then I, yeah, I'm going to hit that sort of shot. So we'll try it on the course later on. Right? I'll yeah. try it if you want me to. Yeah. And we can do some stuff downwind. The more ball spotters, the better. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's 17.25, uh, so it's 18 head, down, yeah. blotted down. Yeah. Former. 17.25. Yeah. That is a your driver, is Liam doing something with it? No, no it's in the... I, I take the, the head heads. off. Oh, yeah, in transportation, because yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I got the other sticks in, so help the other. So, um, hit, hit three irons, flight it, hit stock shots, flight it higher. The higher one, spin rate constant to what the stock one was, but an extra ten yards plus through the air. Cool. Better land angle. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded a little heavy. Yeah. It gave it a bit of turn as well, didn't yeah. it? Two, close to 240 I'll go for still. 225. 225, Through yeah. the air, through the air. Yeah, track man's out. Yeah, yeah, obviously. What's that wind? It's that's 230 something when it's finished, isn't it? Unless it stops there. That's about 270. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meters. 230. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 250. Oh, massive. Nice. Yeah, boom. Don't be silly. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit it out. I tell you, the, uh, we were playing, um, it was Irish Open a couple of years ago, playing with um, a French lad, um, Sebastian Gross. Yeah, yeah. So I heard he's really long. Like, he's a lovely lad. Yeah. Right? So uh, uh, we're playing, it's like third round, we're doing well. So he's pretty long. He's gone the first to have it driver down there. He's at this rescue and he's missing it a bit. He's past me. I'm thinking, Jesus. Okay, so next level now. I have it a really good drive straight in the middle. There's no run on the ball. Yeah. It's really wet. I have it a really good drive straight in the middle. And my, my average carry is like 285. It should be somewhere around there, right? Yeah. Bump on the fairway. I'm thinking, get past that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right? He pegs up, he's at this thing. It's gone like that. Yeah. Then it's gone again. Yeah, yeah. And then kept going. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we're both going down the fairway, you know, so having a chat, and this thing's still up there. <laughs> so he's gone off the tee now. So uh, we, we're sort of chatting. So I turned back to him, and he's a cigarette in his mouth. I said, Seb, I said, um, I'll find you at that driver then. Ah. He said, uh, <sighs> yeah. 290, 300. <sighs> Meters. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that is long, isn't it? Um, do I anything else? A bit one. That's, that's just good it. numbers, isn't it? It's awesome. awesome. That's like my normal good shot. Though. That's a good yeah, solid one. That's the one you uh, want in the game, isn't I it? I think it goes around 245, 250. It's probably absolute max. I mean, I know it's nice. Yeah. Better, but yeah. yeah. That was if I, if I step in it, it's no, 270, 280. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a bit of rollout and cart path involved. Uh, path path <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping you. I've got to get one in, haven't I? I've got to get one in. Well, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is not how this works. Yeah, come on, <laughs> yeah. no. Get with the programme. Yeah, sorry. Get my massaging out now. <laughs> Yeah, it's shorter. 
That's my front pin at uh, 248. You can call that. Uh... Oh, damn it. With six yards of run. Six yards of run. Yeah, yeah but it is. Uh, that is it, isn't it? It's good. I think I had a puff of heavy air there. Yeah, yeah. Heavy air. Working with Bradley Dredge there was fantastic. He was a good laugh. He wanted to understand more about his flight. And it was interesting just how dialed in he wants to be. The ball obviously is going to make small differences, but he sees a difference. Even if it's there or not, actually, I thought it was quite interesting. He still wants that visual flight, as well as a bit of numbers to back it up to make sure he can game, really, all his equipment the way he wants to. Post comments down below, let me know what you think. It's fun standing with them and listening to the detail that they, some of them want to go into and others don't. Post comments down below. If you like the video, tell me what your thoughts were on it. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like it as well. Loads more coming from the range and we've got plenty of challenges with a lot of tour pros taking them on on the course. It gets a little bit messy.